one of the trickiest kinds of questions that the SAT throws at students um, is what I guess can be called a special or symbolic function. What does that mean? Well, if you've just finished watching number 28 or you've already watched the video on functions, uh, a lot of what I'm going to say is going to sound familiar, so you may want to watch that video first before you watch this. Because basically, regardless of the weirdness or the way in which the problem is presented with the weird symbols, it's essentially just a functions problem. Well, what do I mean? Let me give you a specific example. Now, let's say there's a problem that says the following. Let A star B be defined as A plus B over A minus B. What is A, or sorry, uh, 3 star 5? Now you may look at this with your high school math training and say, well, what the heck is this star? I've never seen this before. And that's you know, pretty much what they want you to do. They want you to look at this and say, I've never seen a star before in my math class. Well, all this really is, is essentially just a function. Remember, what a function is. It's just a machine that translates some inputs, in this case A and B, into some output. And here is this output. Right? You might see something like, you know, f of x equals, I'm just kind of, something like this, x plus 2 over x minus 2, for instance. Right? And you'd have no problem figuring out f of 3. Well here, imagine instead of having two sim one symbol, you've got two, and instead of having an F, you've just got a, a triangle. Because remember in that video 28, I said this F of X uh, symbol is essentially arbitrary. We could pick anything for this. And in fact, we can, and, and the SAT does pick anything for it. In this case, they pick star, but you can see something like, you know, asterisk, or, um, you know, uh, circle or square. I mean, there's really a lot of things they can come up with, really anything. Because this symbol is arbitrary. You can pick anything you want for it. So all we have to do in these cases is just match the pattern. So what would we do for this problem? Well, we would say, okay, A star B is this. So what is 3 star 5? Let's just replace everywhere we see an A, we replace it with 3. Everywhere we see a B, we replace it with 5. So this would just be 3 plus 5 over 3 minus 5. This is just going to be 8 over minus 2. That's just minus 4. Okay, so even though it looks weird, it's just a functions question. And I think this is a perfect example of the way in which the SAT twists the math that you know and makes it harder than it seems just because of the weird notation and the way they write and present a problem. This is something you can do if you know functions really well. And if they give you the f of x notation, it'd be a breeze. But because they give you this weird symbol, it makes it more challenging. Now, to take it up a, a notch, what if they said the following? They gave you a star b is that, and then they said that a star 3 equals, um, let me see if I can come up with a good one, 3. What does a equal? This should look familiar to you. This is just like me giving you an f of x and then saying f of x equals 3, what does x equal? You don't put the 3 in, so we're not going to put this 3 in for a because we're solving for a. So what do we do? Well, we say the following. Again, let's just pattern match. A plus 3, I'm just replacing B with 3, over A minus 3 equals 3. Okay, what do I do with this? Oh, well, i got to solve for A, so let me just cross multiply. I'm going to get, hopefully, hopefully this works out. A plus 3 equals 3A minus 9. I'm going to do some rearranging. I'm going to get minus 2A equals minus 6. A equals 3. And okay, so it turns out in this case that A equals 3. But that's not always going to be the case. It just happened to work out with the example I made up off the top of my head. The point is, is that we're going to get some number for A, and it's going to depend on what numbers we have as the output. So we're given the output in this case, which is 3, and we have to find the input. Just like we're given here the output, and we got to find the input. So I hope in this video I proved to you that these kind of special or symbolic or weird functions, whatever you want to call them, are just like your f of x problems. They're just using different symbols and trying to confuse you.